1971, a mysterious hijacker parachuted out of a plane with $200,000 and vanished. This man is suing the FBI to get potential new clues. Eric Ulis was only five when a dapper man in a suit and sunglasses boarded a commercial flight in Portland, Oregon, ordered a bourbon and soda from his seat in 18E and then handed a flight attendant a handwritten note saying he had a bomb. It was November 24, 1971, and the unidentified man, who later became known as D.B. Cooper, had a one-way ticket on the flight to Seattle. Cooper opened his carry-on bag to reveal a jumble of wires and red sticks and demanded four parachutes and $200,000 in cash. After the plane landed in Seattle he swapped three dozen passengers for the cash and parachutes. Then ordered the pilot to fly to a new destination, Mexico City, but soon after takeoff, Cooper did something incredible, with the money strapped to his waist, he parachuted out of the rear of the plane and into the night, vanishing over the vast wilderness of the Pacific Northwest. Cooper has not been seen or heard from since. His audacious stunt made him a folk hero, triggered an FBI investigation, led to tightened security at airports and inspired dozens of books and TV documentaries. It remains the only unsolved hijacking in U.S. aviation history. When decades passed without any solid new leads, the FBI officially closed the case in 2016, but Ulyss is still searching for clues. Now in his 50s, he says he spent countless hours scouring tens of thousands of FBI documents on Cooper for any details federal agents may have missed. Cooper's story resonates with a lot of people because it has a James Bond esque element to it, Eula says. It's real. He was real. This is not a Bigfoot legend, he says. No one was physically harmed. Of course, the crew endured some stress, but even they admit he was quite polite, all things considered. He exhibited grace under pressure. Ulyss keeps a notebook next to his bed in his Phoenix, Arizona, home. 